Good evening. It's Monday night, 8 o'clock, Channel 26, and this is the Lucky Ducks. We're here for some wacky comedy. The most important thing is that this is interactive comedy, and I'd like you, if you have any suggestions, to call us on 319-338-7035. During the evening, we, we need your input on things like places and actions. So the first... The first game we're playing is a game called Herald. The Herald is quite a story, quite a story. We need a suggestion from the audience. And when we get a suggestion from the audience regarding place and action, we will give you three themes, one from the present, one from the past, and one from the future. And we might do two or three of those. So just so you know what's happening, we'll have something from the, par from the present, the past, and the future. So the phones are buzzing. The first call. Nadine, Risto, me, Ananta, I have to hold you. The theme for the first 20 minutes is walking down the street, getting mud. Walking down the street, getting mud. And a ton of bricks are falling from the sky. Getting mud. Any city. I was in New Delhi, India, you know, and uh, we were there and we were just walking down the street and in India they have these big wedding processions where there's people walking around and dancing and the bride and the groom ride on an elephant. Well, these two guys came up, I was just watching, you know, and these two guys came up and they said, hey, come on, dance. I said, oh, no, you know, I mean, me, you know, I'm from a place called Des Moines, Washington. I said, no, not me. So one of the guys sticks out his hand, and you know, in Des Moines, Washington, we're friendly like Des Moines, Iowa. So I shook his hand, and he pulled me in to the wedding procession, and what followed was not fun, but it was kind of like being mud. You know, I was in Japan a few years ago, and I had, took all these great slides, and we brought them tonight to show you. So these are the slides from my trip to Japan. First slide, please. Now, here we are. In Japan, you know there are a lot of cameras, and everyone was very photogenic, except for our dear Ananka in the back. But we, everyone was taking photographs. Tim decided that this was the time to throw up, so we didn't get his face too much. Next slide. Tim's still feeling pretty sick. Victor, I don't know what he ate, but he's out of it. Satomi is ever peaceful and calm. And they're walking down outside of the, um, you know, the restaurant. Next slide, please. Okay, <laughs> this was really funny. We ate dinner, right? I told you we ate dinner. The problem was nobody brought any yams. So we, here we are out on the street in front of the restaurant trying to get some money to pay the, the guy that owned the restaurant. Next scene, next slide. Well, Ananka had a few tricks up her sleeve, and she was trying to get up into a headstand or something. I think she thought people would pay more for that. And the rest of them were just looking on. Last slide. <laughs> so Tommy decided that she really liked yen, so all the money that they were getting to pay for their dinner, so Tommy took Ananka 
didn't think this was a good idea at all, and in fact, everybody tried to kill her. Kim Ever Stolwart decided that she was going to wash the dishes. Thanks a lot. Hope next time we go to Japan that you can come with us. See ya. I've been mugged by the government. Taxes for this, taxes for that. You know, I have to pay tax on my motorbike. I have to pay taxes on school. Where does it all end? You know where the real crime is? It's not disorganized crime. It's organized crime. Don't know what I can do about that. Everyone's a comedian these days. You can't even walk down the street without people just giving you all sorts of mugs. You know, here's the, uh, what? Or, uh, I mean, it's like, and then instead of throwing tomatoes, they throw bricks. And then where are you? You're like squished in the pavement. Please show me those beautiful walkways that you wrote to me about when you uh -huh. were writing me letters. Uh huh. As you know, we walk uh, like this, this, and this, and this. But actually, people think we are crazy, so don't walk okay. like this. <laughs> forget, <laughs> forget that one. Forget, forget. Right. Like you know, people enjoy silence in Japan very much. Uh huh. Just keep silent. Don't talk anybody, okay? Even people ask something to you, just don't talk, okay? Nadine? Good. Good, you passed. <laughs> you know how to walk in Japan. Yeah. Good. You know, when I was in sixth grade, I used to have a lot of people that were in my class, you know, they'd run around taking kids' lunch money. And, you know, you had to really kind of be on your guard, watch your pockets, and keep your hand in them, or else somebody's going to take your wallet. And anyway, I was walking through the hallway one day, I saw this kid running really quickly past, so what could I do? Yeah. Put my hands in my pockets, but I didn't do it fast enough because he got my wallet. I've got the perfect mugging machine. This machine, he'll never mug anyone again. I'm here tonight with our famous foreign poet from Okohana land, and I am going to be translating the poem. The poem tonight is titled, Falling Bricks Hit the Span. Shiva, 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 
on Shavadka? When bricks fall from the skies, no one knows why, but on a hot day, who cares? Ash Vijimima, Kvad Vadva, Tek Tek Tek, Luz Vadam, Azianuga. People are grasping for air, grasping, grasping. People, people milling, spilling their guts out, wanting to know where, where are they going? Where are they going? We'll never know the answer. Thank you. Yes, sir. Well, it's about time for you to fill out your tax form, and I thought I'd call you in personally to do it, because there have been some irregularities. Oh, uh, well... In uh, each of the last five years, I might add. If you just wait, I'll get the file. Wow. Five years? Five years, yes. 1990. Yes, I, I, yeah, good year, 1990, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't make much money, though. No? You seem to have spent a lot on your yachting outings. It was all business-related. Business-related? Yes, I um, uh, I was working with clothing that year, and, uh, we went out on the yacht to take photographs, you know, uh -huh. the models are lying there, and oh. that whole kind of, you oh. know, business. Oh, business, I get the picture, so. Yeah. Well, 1990 looks all right, so, let's see. 1989, the expenditure for entertainment includes a rather extravagant line item for champagne. Now, how champagne. might you explain that? Uh, that was 89. That's 89. correct. 89. Oh, of course! That was the year that we were advertising these uh, champagne baths. Champagne baths. Baths, baths, yes, champagne baths. I see. And of course, you know, the bathtubs are like this big. I mean, the models have got to get in, and you know, you, you, you just got to fill them up. The models are, are rather, well, slim, aren't they? Yes. So I guess it would take a lot to fill it up. Well, yeah, they don't displace much uh, champagne in the baths. I see, I see. So I think that's pretty legitimate business well, expense. Uh, just, just a minute. I'm just wondering how many cases would you use? Per bath, because by the look of this, you must have had a bath in champagne nearly every week. Well, let's see. I had I had 52 clients that year, so that would be one a week. And uh, let me think. Cases. Maybe uh, three, three, three cases. Three, three cases, cases a per bath. bath. Ball. Three cases per bath Ball. times uh, 52. Close. Plausible. Great. Plausible. We'll. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll post that. So okay. 1988. Now this is a most interesting year. Yeah, 88. It, that was a that was a ripper. Tell me about it. Uh, let's see. Uh, my business that year what uh, was um, well, you know, you've got it right there. I, I'd like to hear it from you. Yeah. Um, okay. So we had. Um, you know, that was a long time ago. I actually had an accident at the end of that year. Kind of, sort of. Uh, Brings me to one of my points, actually. The expenditure for automobile insurance. Do you know how much those limos cost to insure? And we only had four of them. My dear, working in a job like I have, there's no way I'll ever know how much a limousine would cost. You're lucky. I'm lucky. So, so that's about wraps it up? That's uh, 80. Uh, well, let's just let's skip to 86 here. Do you mind if I sit down here? I'm going to. Sure. 86? 86, 87, 88, uh, Yeah, all right. I thought you guys could only go back three years. We could, but we've changed the rules. Oh. Uh, we, we didn't tell you, but we changed the rules. Yeah, numbers. okay. So let me see. 86, child care. Oh, yeah. That was the year that um, uh, uh, my husband's ex-wife niece came to live with us. And, you know, it says if they've been with you for 12 months of the year, you get to deduct them. So uh, see. we took Let's all see. the child care off. $150,000. Yeah, well, uh, <clears throat> we were living in New York at the time. I see. In New York. New York. I'm just going to get some water here. Uh -huh. It's getting a little hot. Okay. 
Well, based on the information you've told me, did you? This is not filtered water. No, no, no. Well, you know, government funds and all that. So. Yeah. Oh. I'll have to talk to the Iowa State Legislature for that. Yeah, well, well um, based so on I the information you've given me, yeah. it seems that uh, you may owe us some bank taxes, something in the order of, say, three or four, perhaps. Three or four five dollars, no problem. Hundred dollars. Oh, five hundred dollars? No sweat. Uh, A check, perhaps? Yeah, uh, let me see. Uh, God. Oh, geez, you know, I wrote my last check. Uh -huh. uh, yesterday. So um, I'll send it to you in the mail. I'll put uh, it in the mail. That's very generous of you. Do you have a credit card by any chance? Oh, no, never use them. No credit cards. Well, actually, I have the one, uh, but, you know, it wouldn't do us a whole lot of good here. I see. So I'll tell you what. I'll put it in the mail. I promise. Scout's honor. It's very nice. Why, yes. why don't you bring it in tomorrow? Yes, sir. 9.30? Yes, sir. Be looking forward to seeing you then. Bye. Good morning. Dear Satomi, I've so enjoyed your letters. It's been really great to hear about all the beautiful silence in Japan. Guess what? I'm going to come and visit you. Oh, I know she's going to just be so happy to get this letter. And, oh, oh, gee. So I'm going to go mail it. Huh, what a small word. Okay, good. He enjoyed my white letter, huh? It's good. It was my impression of silence. Mm. He remember this word, right? I should visit her. I have a lot of money, but I don't know, except working. So let's go to see her. Boy, sir, hello. Hello. Do you want to pay some taxes? Taxes? Yeah. I don't know what taxes are. Well, you've got 20 jelly beans, right? I got, yeah, I got 20 jelly beans and one fuzz ball. Uh, well, you keep the fuzz ball and I'll take Three jelly beans. No, here's three jelly beans, but One, I don't... two, three. Good. You count good these days. Yeah. But I don't understand why you get three jelly beans. I uh, mean... It's my job, you know? Your job? Yeah. What? That's a funny job, jelly bean. Yeah, I like it. Yeah? Well, how do you do that job? Uh, well, you know, you just ask people for money. And they give it to you. And they give you jelly beans? Yeah. I like that job. Can yeah. I have that job too? Ah, uh, if you want this job, it'll cost you eh, 15 jelly beans. 15 jelly beans? I want to retire. I want to lie in the sun. But I want to lie in the sun too when I grow up. Uh, if I keep my jelly beans, I can lie in the sun too. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Then I don't pay no taxes, and it's good. Uh-uh. I'm going to tax you next year five more jelly beans. But I mean, it's not even next year yet. That's all right. You pay me three jelly beans now. Next year, I only tax you four jelly beans. But that's good. I already give you three jelly beans. Now another, another, another three. I don't like this game. One. One. Two. Hey. What? Hey. What? Wish. There's only one. I don't. I don't. You know what my mommy calls people like you? Uh, Tim. Uh, Muggy. Muggy. Oh. Tommy, it's so great to be in Japan again. Oh, my hands. Oof. I seem to have gotten older as the years go by. Maybe 
Not enough silence. Oh, it's called the, the disease yeah. of the silence. Be careful. You must go to the hospital and take the tape recorder. Yeah? You understand what yeah. I said? Yeah, OK. It's so very popular in Japan. I, OK, we go to the hospital because in the behind, yeah. in the back of the hospital, yeah. Yeah. it's those beautiful gardens. Can you, you come with me? I'm, I'm afraid. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid. You're afraid? Af I'm afraid of silence lately. So oh, I don't want to go be there. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Well, sorry. Uh, I like to go to disco from now. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Tell me. Oh, but I like this garden. Oh, oh, this garden's very beautiful. Oh, my hands. Oh, I think I walk to the other side of this garden and just stay in silence. Could I do something? Please? Oh, yes. See over there the beautiful waterfall? I just want to spend a few hours there and enjoy the beauty and the silence. Oh, already I feel so much better. This is the best walk in the forest I ever took. If you think I'm paying you any more taxes or jelly beans, you're crazy. Ooh. That's why I got the job. <laughs> I believe it. Now, it's come to that time of year where we review our taxing procedures for the previous 50 years. 50 years? And it's a great pleasure oh. for me to announce to you yeah. that you have been unduly taxed for three weeks in 1952. So I get a refund after all this time. Yes, you do. And by the way, the compound interest is something in the vicinity of $15,000. Uh, eh? The compound interest. Uh, it's something in the vicinity of $15,000. Thousand American dollars. There's a compound outside the hotel, and it's in the neighborhood of fifteen thousand. And it's very interesting. Oh, it's in this neighborhood, uh, though. Yes, yes. Oh, great! But and it's mine now. No, no, the fifteen thousand dollars is yours now. Oh, okay, that's good. I'll take that. Yes. Uh, um, the go U.S. government. Yes. Great. It's about bloody time. Oh, well, um, checks in the mail. Uh, 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 been a pleasure. Uh, hey, yeah. Uh, goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you from Thank the you. Lucky Duck. Welcome back. Now, the, the important thing here is to call 338-7035 with some suggestions. Now, we, while we were doing Herald, we got a few suggestions for a game called Three Sentences. Now, in this game, we get three totally unrelated sentences, and we create a scene from those sentences. So, naturally, the first sentence we get starts in, it starts the scene. The second sentence occurs somewhere in the middle of the scene, and the third sentence completes the scene. Now, I'll just share with you now those three sentences with which the Lucky Ducks are going to structure this scene. The first sentence is, I didn't intend to spend 
$35 on books. The, the sentence that will be in the middle of the scene is, the white chocolate mousse yogurt reminded me of Dairy Queen's vanilla. And the final sentence, the sentence that will finish this scene is, I never thought I'd spend the years from college on using an electric wheelchair. So we'd like to thank Susan Rotman from Iowa City for those three sentences. And now I bring back the Lucky Ducks. But first, <laughs> but first, nearly got you, nearly got you. But first, Phyllis Kerr is going to play us three songs, or two songs, two songs. Thank you. Welcome back. We've had a lot of phone calls. Now Phyllis is from Fairfield and she's going to tell you a little about this song. I want to dedicate this song to my husband who's back at home babysitting. A little important point, he has never ever ever seen me perform. And I always make a joke about him when he gets back to him at work the next day. But this is a song to him, it's a love song. It's called I'm so
their canned applause in there. <laughs> Great. Thank you. It is very hot under TV lights, so if I'm sweating, it's not from the song, even though I am a little bit. One more Jealous Woman Love song. Please. Okay. Someone gave me some good advice one time. They said, follow the rules of a broken heart. Never let him see you cry. Follow the rules of a broken heart. Just pretend and live a lie. Follow the rules of a broken heart. He thinks I'm just going to walk out that door. As I mentioned before the, before the music, we've got a scene called Three Unrelated Sentences. And just to refresh your memory, the first sentence is, I didn't intend to spend $35 on books. Sentence number two, the white chocolate mousse yogurt reminded me of Dairy Queen's vanilla. That's the sentence that will appear in the middle of the scene. And finally, the sentence that will end the scene, I never thought I'd spend the years from college on using an electric wheelchair. Ducks! I didn't intend to spend $35 on books, but that Hare Krishna guy was so convincing. I mean, look at this recipe for wow. bliss balls. Whoa. Are you and kidding? The Bhagavad Gita wow. as it is. Man, that's incredible. <laughs> wow. Yeah, looking at all that stuff, I mean, speaking of food, I'm hungry. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. a long yeah, let's, flight. Let's go in here. OK. Would you like some white chocolate mousse, please? Yeah, wow. yeah, that looks really good. Oh. White chocolate mousse? Sounds mm, nice. Thanks. Mm. Great, I'll have one. Do you have a strawberry? Sure. Hmm. This white chocolate mousse yogurt tastes like Dairy Queen's vanilla. Are you kidding? Let me try some of that. That's good. Oh. Strawberry, anyone? Mm. This is great. Mm. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, yeah. thank you. <laughs> 
You're going to eat a lot, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> that, that's so you I'm can steady. get as tall as us. I'm he didn't get the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, you know, it does taste well, like okay. Dairy Queen. Who needs to get on an airplane after it's eating okay. this? It's yeah. like, you just want to fly. Do you have to taste this? Do you do it? OK. Oh, 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 oh so Tony, you know, Ooh. we didn't pay. And we spilled this. I think we ought to get out of yeah, here. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good idea. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, Nadine, oh, are you OK? Oh, no, I just, I can't even move. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Did we get some help? Oh, come on. Bender? Oh, oh, careful. Oh, oh, drag her off. No. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Be real careful. Oh, oh are you geez. OK? I didn't think I'd spend my life from college on in an electric wheelchair. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> oh, no. Ow. Oh. Ow. Tragic, tragic. Three unrelated sentences from Susan Rotman, Makota, Iowa City. Now, here's Nadine to give us the details on what's next. Well, OK. You'll really like this game. This is called Park Bench. And uh, Kai Weatherman, who's from Spencer, Iowa, gave us a suggestion for a location of this bench right here. So you're going to, this bench is going to be a bench in that place down under where it's real hot in hell. And we have two people sitting on this park bench. Great. Well, that's going to be cozy. Good thing they're where they are. And Kai said that the best relationship for these two people would be that one is a custodian and one was a CEO. Now, the only problem with these guys is that somehow they've lost the movement of their own arms. So here's Park Bench. Oh, it's so hot down here. I know. What did I do to deserve this, I wonder? You've been working here for what, 200 years? It's sure I sure look like it, but no, only five. Five? That does it to anyone. Five years and you look five like that? Years. Well, you can't imagine what I looked like before, man. <laughs> what did you look like before, I wonder? Like Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley? You bet. Yeah? Fat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. And gorgeous. And gorgeous. Lots yeah. of screaming women. <laughs> Lots of alcohol, late nights. And guitars. Guitars and fast food. And Cadillacs. What I'd give for a little fast food every now and then. That is nothing like mop, man. Yeah? That will cure any hunger. Yeah? Can we order some? You know? You've been here a while. I reckon you know. You can use my mop anytime. Yeah? Help yourself. Oh, Enjoy. thanks. OK. You know, when I was an executive, I never thought I'd be doing this, mopping. I never thought I would do this either. <laughs> I had this real estate empire. Then I went through a car accident. Oh. Everything went down the drain. Yeah, I tell you. Yeah. Oh. What is it about here? It just makes you itch. Ah, uh, some fleas, I suppose. Fleas, huh? Do you uh, have any? Do you have flea collar? Yeah, I have fleas, but no collar. Ah. All right. Let me mop. Let help me to mop this floor, one of you. Okay. Oh. Fade out. Thanks for all of you that have been calling in. Don't forget that number, 303-2000. <laughs> <laughs>
338-7035. And while we were um, out, uh, let's see, Donna from Cedar Rapids and Michelle gave us some great suggestions for our next skit. Um, in it we have Tim and Nate, and <clears throat> these are two very emotional young men. And what the girls decided was that they were going to be in a bathroom. A bathroom. A bathroom. A bathroom. Right. And what you'll find is, and what you'll find as this skit goes on, is that they change their emotions based on this whole list of emotions that Donna and Michelle, thanks very much, gave us. So, you're on. <sighs> What's the first emotion? First emotion is frustration. Oh, oh. my zipper's stuck. Oh, oh. stupid thing. Oh. I'm gonna turn on. Elation. Oh, it's working. Oh, it's that's water. All right. such a relief. Pain. Ah, ah. Oh, hot. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm going to go back to using buttons. Oh, these, ah. these modern contraptions, oh. they're more trouble than they're worth. Ah. Spacey. Oh. oh. Well, that's over. Oh, uh, maybe I'll wash my hands. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, now I've got to go. Anger. There's <laughs> no water! What is going on here? What kind of a toilet is this, anyway? Oh, flush! Are you oh. sure? That's not a toilet. It's a toilet? You sure? That's a toilet. This uh -oh. is a sink. <laughs> what? Don't make a mistake. Okay, all right, all right. Idiot! Don't call me an idiot. You buffoon? Okay, call me a buffoon, but don't call me an idiot. Jeez. Never send a moron to do a cretin's job. Glee. <laughs> Here comes the water. All right, Glee. it's flushing. Mm. Oh, now I can go again. I think I'll have a shave. Wow. Mm. All this jet setting, shaving in public bathrooms. God, I hate it. Oh, you get used to it though after a while. In fact, yeah, mind if I use a mirror? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Just uh, well, Welcome back, and now we're playing a special game with our resident expert, Ms. Know-it-all. She knows everything about everything, which is good because we ran into Tom Armstrong from Cedar Falls. He called in with some very interesting questions. Now, I'll just explain something to you about Ms. Know-it-all. They are one. It looks like there's three bodies but they have one mind, and they'll communicate in a very effortless manner using one word at a time. So, question number one. What is the proper number of drinks a man should buy for a woman before amorous attraction occurs? Infinite and sweet. 
infinite and sweet. There you have it. Now, 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 which I understand in America is the National Organization of Women. So from Tom, we have another question. I hear that you, Ms. Know-it-all, are a member of NOW. How would you like it now? Immediately. Immediately! Perfect. The NOW Club immediately. Question number three. If you were rich, would you go out with a guy with an old car? Oh, don't. No. I don't know. Who cares if he's got a car if you... Doesn't matter. All right. Question number four. Now, I think Tom's a bit of a materialist, you know. Question number four. What value do we put on money? What value do we put on money, Ms. Know-it-all? Small. Pleasure. Or. Always. Slow. Small pleasures are always slow. There you go. Now, here we go. Tom. He's a man, I think, who believes in situational morality. And we have an interesting situation here. Question is, if a girl has a boyfriend and someone else asks her out and she agrees, and then her boyfriend spontaneously turns up, what should she do? Should she stand up her boyfriend or should she stand up the one who asked her out. Ms. Know-it-all. She should not. She should not. She should not. Tom, I hope that's made your night. She should not. And finally, the last question for Ms. Know-it-all. How much money is enough? Ten million dollars. Ten million dollars. Who could say no to ten million dollars? Thank you, Ms. Know-it-all. Welcome back. Now, the incredible shrinking and growing machine. Someone generous phoned in with a location. The location is Kentucky Fried Chicken. Now, just to explain to you what happens in the incredible shrinking growing machine, one player comes on, starts an action. Another pl player comes on and starts another action. Everyone comes on one at a time and then they leave one at a time. Thank you. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Okay, now we're going to hold this real tight mm -hmm. and twist it.
counterclockwise. Okay. One, two, three. Counterclockwise, counterclockwise. Good. Phew, that's close. Do you know what happens if you turn it count? Don't turn it counterclockwise. Okay. All the gas escapes. So go mm. right around, right around. A little bit more. Okay. Don't top it. No, I'll top. Don't top. But okay, I think we can take it apart real carefully. Great. You got it. Yeah, no kidding. Set yours down over there. Okay, and this end. Don't. Three. Turn on the water. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hurry up, hurry up. What are they here doing? Comes, here it comes, here it comes. Whoa. Oh, oh. This really helps. Oh. Oh. Fire. Oh, we got to get close. We'll never put it out from here. Okay. 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 Put the uh, other color on and the ice cream. Okay, right. And you put on the nuts. Okay, okay. put the syrup on. Here's some more nuts. All right. And syrup. Nuts. Syrup. Ice cream is a man, are you? No, man. We, yeah. we gotta go faster. Yeah. Faster, 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 faster. Here you go. Not... Hurry up, hurry up. Freeze. Hey. Pass the break. Here, catch. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Pass it, it's changed. I'm sure, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, it's coming. Okay, now come to cinder block. Oh. Cinder blocks? Okay. Oh, help her, Nate. It's oh. too heavy. Oh, here, let me help you. 